Hi everyone, I'm Allie Graham and today I wanted to talk to you about what to do with OCD thoughts and how to do proper ERP on OCD thoughts. So in cases of puro type of OCD where it's purely obsessional meaning mostly thoughts, I've never really actually see a pure puro case because there's always um, looking online or asking or checking, there's always some sort of a, a compulsion attached to it, but generally we're talking 90% um, things that are just, just happening in the mind, right? No, not a lot of physical compulsions, almost none, let's say. Um, and also sometimes, uh, even in cases of physical compulsions, analyzing the situation or worrying that you will never recover, you know, and that becomes an additional theme as well. So what to do when these thoughts come in, an OCD thought comes into your mind, what do you do? So first, you need to reestablish that this is not the first time you've had this thought. So this thought has been happening over and over again for a long period of time. So looking at it that way, this is not the first time I've had it. I don't need to react to it now. I'm going to choose to push forward as much as possible and refuse reaction for the next, let's say for the next day, I'm going to choose to refuse reaction. I'm just going to choose to um, not allow myself to actively analyze it. You can't say I'm not going to think about it because the thoughts coming in automatically. You can't say I'm not going to be anxious about it because the anxiety is coming in automatically. But are you taking that thought and are you running with it? Are you viewing that anxiety as valid and are you increasing that anxiety by actively figuring something out if you are that's the reassurance part that's what makes ocd worse so the thought coming in is just thought coming in and you need to say no i'm not doing this for at least and delay a lot of the times with the um thought triggers right the delaying works really really well because it's hard to just say well no i'm just moving on well you know, it's, it's, I find easier, not by far, not by much, but a little bit easier with physical compulsions than it is with mental compulsions, you know, but uh, I would say with, uh, with mental compulsions, at least delaying it, and then the next day, probably you're not even going to think about it, you know, but you just need to have a little bit more distance for you to uh, reduce you know, your anxiety, right? And when the anxiety reduces, you start to look at it rationally and it doesn't seem so scary anymore. You know, it's, it starts to um, make sense. And that might, and then, okay, just an aside, that might not happen in the course of a day for everyone, or I would even say for most people, it might take a lot longer. So the other thing I don't want you to do is look over your shoulder constantly, you know, and say, well, it's still here. It's still here. What does this mean? It's still here. Is this different? Because it's still here. It's not different. Depending on the situation, some situations trigger people more than other situations. You know, it's just, it could be closer to your heart, more scary sounding, you know, and that's what it's, that's what's keeping it there. So you have to look at it that, okay, this is still the same theme. When you when you bottom line it, it's still the same theme. And what do I need to do with the same theme? I need to actively choose to disregard. So at least I'm going to be able to push off until the end of the day. And hopefully tomorrow it will the, the thought will be a lot weaker. And then I won't have to do reassurance. You know? And just little by little, just keep pushing it off. Pushing it away from, not not with fear, but just like, okay, it can be over there and I'm going to be over here, right? Because when you're pushing it off, it's very important that you don't get into fear of the thought. If you feel like you fear the thought, what you they expose, again, different type of OCD thought, right? If you feel like you fear the thought, the exposure would be to bring that thought on purpose, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to get more thoughts on this topic. Yep, they're all going to come. Yep, if this will continue to happen my entire life. You know, whatever OCD tells you, right? And that's not true, just what, not, not to give you reassurance, but just what OCD tells you, right? So you have to say, okay, whatever, bring me the thought. Yes, scary situation. I am choosing to disregard. And if it's a specific situation that's just like a phrase that you are afraid of that's going on in your mind over and over again, then that phrase, try to repeat it to yourself over and over again. You know, and that might help as well. So over and over again, you're saying, yep, this is whatever the trigger is, disregarding. Yep, say the trigger, disregarding, you know, until you desensitize to it. 
and you will feel really scared saying it the first few times, I promise you, you will feel better saying it after two hours of saying this, you know? And this is what I mean when I talk about exposures. You need to do a lot of exposures, not necessarily two hours worth, but a long period of time, you know, not like two minutes, you know? Because your exposures, correct exposures, where you're doing response prevention, have to outweigh the amount of reassurance that you are doing by a lot in the course of a day. Or if they don't outweigh by a lot, then increasingly more than the previous days. So that way you are always progressing in your recovery. You're getting a little bit better. You're getting a little bit stronger. You know, that's what we need to, to, to see. That's what needs to happen. So this is just how you're handling the thoughts when the thoughts hit. So refuse reaction, delay. Again, re, uh, refocusing on something else is extremely important. Also reducing stress, giving yourself a mound to rest. You know, I say this all the time because it is really true. Every time, I, I see this every time with clients, that as soon as they get stressed out and they hit that limit of their, whatever the stress limit is for that specific person, some random thought comes in, scares them, and then the, the, bad, the bad stuff begins, the bad OCD begins, you know? So don't put yourself in those situations. If you're doing too much, then you have to reduce so you're not doing too much. So you have that mental uh, space to think, you know, at least a little bit more clearly, right? Right now, it's hard to think clearly if you're having an OCD um, attack, right? But it's, put it this way, if you're stressed out, if you're, if you're at, say, let's say if you're at a five or a six, just living normal life, like just daily life stuff, right? Because maybe you're too busy, you're coming and going, there's a lot to do, whatever, right? Then OCD comes in at a 10, but you're already stressed out. Your hormones are already through the roof, you know? It's, you're, you're not calm, you know? And, and then what's going to happen? Are you going to react correctly? I mean, technically you have the choice to react correctly, meaning disregard, but it's going to be a lot harder because you're not starting at a place where you should be starting which is a place of calm you know and it's hard to be calm in today's world but you know you have to kind of push yourself that way so i hope you find my videos helpful thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me all the information is on youhaveocd.com as always thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow